If you've ever thought about installing an in-ground basketball hoop, this is how we poured the base and set the anchor. This is the Mega Slam 60, and the first thing we're going to do is figure out exactly where we want to put it. Now that we've figured out exactly where our basketball hoop's going to go, we're going to call 811 and have the utility lines marked so we don't dig into anything. Grab the installation instructions that are specific for your basketball hoop and figure out how big of a hole you need to dig. So, this is the Mega Slam 60 basketball hoop. We have to dig a hole that's 20 by 20 by 48. This is the anchor system. We're gonna put it together before we pour the concrete base. So when we're done pouring the concrete base, this thing's ready to go right away before the concrete dries. cut our 2x4s to build the form. It's four pieces, they're all 21 inches, so the inside of our form will be 20 by 20. All right, so we have our form built. The inside of the form is 20 inches by 20 inches. Before you dig your hole, it's important to know how far the overhang is on your basketball hoop. This is the Mega Slam 60. The overhang at 10 feet is three feet. So the basketball hoop will be about right here. When we lower it down to, four, to five feet, the basketball hoop overhang is four feet. So it's gonna be out like this. So we set our form back 18 inches so we have more playing space on the driveway. Set your form in place, double check, get the exact spot where you like it, and then edge around it. Grab a sawzall to chop out the roots if they're in the way. A digging bar like this is perfect for getting the big rocks out of the way. At this point, we're basically digging through these giant rocks and clay. Once you get your hole to the correct size, ours is 20 by 20 by 4 feet deep, bell it out at the bottom a little so it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Double check everything's level. Start mixing up your concrete. Once you're about halfway full, set the rebar in place about six inches apart. Grab your base and set it in place. Once the top of the base is on the concrete, double check it's level. 